What's going on everybody? We got another rapid disc review for you. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Streamline Shift coming out in this Proton plastic. Very beautiful looking disc with the St. Jude stamp. If you guys haven't picked your Shift up from Flight Factory, make sure you go head over there and check them out. We still got a bunch available. This disc is coming in at a 95 negative 31. For some reason, I thought that this disc was an 11 speed. I don't know why, um, but yeah. Anyway, we brought the H7 out here to compare 95 negative 41. We're gonna give them a toss out there. And uh, there's an albino squirrel over here I gotta show you guys. There's a legit full white squirrel over here. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're gonna give them a toss out here and uh, see how they're flying. This H7 has been in my bag for a little while and it's negative four one, so it might not be quite as, over, as stable as this one, but we'll see. I've heard that these are pretty flippy. Oh gosh, maybe it comes back, yeah, it comes back. A little nose up and it still kind of flipped over and, and did its thing. No, it's not bad. We'll try the, uh, we'll try the H7 and see if it's, uh, I think the H7 is gonna be a little flippier, not gonna lie, but we'll see. This thing always surprises me. Oh man, yeah, I think that's a little flippier because it just, it went right for a good bit, didn't really want to come back. And I feel like I even put it on more hyzer. I'm gonna let Rodney Whip stow him. Oh, oh it might wow. be too flippy for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Let me try the H7. Put it just straight vertical. Yeah, straight vertical hyzer. It might be just roller disc for Rodney. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it's not a bad roller though. If the grass wasn't so wet out there and so thick, it might actually roll, but. I was gonna do a roller throw with this disc, but I don't know if, if we have the, the right grass and conditions for it today, but. All right, from here on out, we're just gonna throw the shift. It's pretty wet out here today. There's a lot of dew on the ground. And um, I mean, I'm, we're just getting absolutely caked in water and uh, dirt here. So we're just going to throw the shift out there. This thing is kind of surprising me. I was expecting it to be a little bit more stable. I know it's a negative three one, uh, but I've thrown a lot of negative three one fairway drivers like the Roadrunner, the Heat, things like that. This seems to be a little bit more flippy. Now I haven't thrown those discs in a while. So maybe, uh, you know, maybe my snap and arm speed's gotten a little bit better. I'm not sure. I think this thing is a little flippy though. Um, it's about as flippy as my H7, which I kind of deemed way more flippy than either the Heat or the Roadrunner. And um, that's not a bad thing. I like this disc a lot. I really like my H7. Uh, it is one of my one of my favorite discs for big turnovers or just like throwing it on like a vertical hyzer and just having it flip up to flat and going straight. Um, it's one of my favorite discs for that, for that throw. So if you're looking for a disc that may be slightly more understable than the Heat or the Roadrunner, uh, by Innova, you might want to check this disc out. Um, yeah, go pick it up at Flight Factory. All right, so you guys saw Rodney throw it on a hyzer and it flipped all the way over and rolled. I'm gonna try to throw it on a hyzer now as somebody who throws about 300 to 350 average and see how it likes to flip up. I got, I got high hopes. Yeah, exactly what I like right there. Now I did throw that a, no a little nose up again but had a nice flip up turn to it and uh, plenty of stability. I'm not worried about it rolling over on me if I throw it at a hyzer angle. Now, if I were to throw that I'm flat, destroy it would probably roll. All right, Rodney's gonna put it on a lot of hyzer this time, see if he can get a, give it some height too. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Oh goodness. Too much height. You wanna bloop that one out? Oh my gosh, flipped all the way. Jeez, that might be a little too flippy for Rodney. But for us mere mortals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Rodney rips, this, this This might not be made for him, but for us normal, you know, 300 to 350 foot throwers, I think this is a, uh, a very nice, understable fairway driver. You'll be able to get some really good turn on this thing right out of the box. I'm gonna see if I could do like a flip up forehand with it, like a little finesse hyzer forehand. Cause so my forehand lately has just not had a lot of torque. So I think I'll be able to get a nice flip up, maybe a little little bit of turn. Yeah, let's check it out. Might go really bad, might be good. Sometimes good, sometimes. It's not good. 
See, I don't know why my forehand has been kind of weak and nose up lately. It's like the perfect disc for me. <laughs> if you throw weak and nose up, get you a shift. I probably shouldn't put that in. Yeah. <laughs> Rodney's going to see if he can lower his arm speed down. I'm not sure if it's possible, but he's going to try. Look at that. Just a nice soft throw. Oh, yeah, crazy, crazy how easy you can get a turnover on this disc, like no effort at all. All right, he's going to grab the disc. I'm going to throw it one more time. I'm going to try to put some power behind it. It's kind of hard for me to do. I for some reason lately, I've been 50. feeling a little, a little weak in disc golf. I just haven't been practicing a lot, but we're going to try to throw it hard. I'm going to put it on a lot of hyzer and uh, yeah, just see how far we can get it. Beautiful turnovers. I mean, look at that. It's not a bad, uh, it's not a bad drive. Not a bad throw there. Disc was a little wet. And that's with the disc being soaking wet. I can already tell you, it's soaked. We're gonna throw it on a lot of hyzer. See if we can't put some power behind it. Maybe, we'll see. See, I'm just throwing nose up when I try to throw it on hyzer. I think that keeps it from burning over. Though. It does keep yeah. it from burning over, but it's just kind of stalling out. But uh, it's amazing how far it'll push even on a nose up throw. If you were to try to throw a distance driver like that, it would have definitely started to fade out almost instantly, unless you throw something like the wave or fission wave or something like that. Yeah, pretty nice disc. I like how it pushes, even when you throw it kind of slow, kind of nose up a little bit. Still is a, uh, I think this would be a good like beginner distance driver. If this is your first, first distance driver you're gonna pick up, I think it'd be a great option. All right guys, it's gonna do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I brought Rodney out here to help me throw it because I thought it was going to be an 11 speed. I don't know why I thought this disc was an 11 speed disc. I don't know. I thought it was going to be like a like a wave or something similar to that, but totally wrong on that. And it ends up being a nine speed flippy fairway driver, which we uh, Rodney can barely even throw it because he's too, <laughs> too strong. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.